Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Jane Cormack, founder of Rhythm and Colour, cultivating courage in women to shine. And this week I want to talk about conscious beauty. Now this is the theme of my upcoming workshop at the end of May in Aberdeen in Scotland. So if you're in the area, I suggest you get in touch and I'd love to hear from you if you want to join us. So conscious beauty is a very relevant subject right now because we need to be becoming more conscious about our beauty as women. And when I say conscious, there's a lot, I mean, the beauty industry is enormous, so I could go completely off piste in many different subject areas and tangents with this, within this subject of beauty. You know, we've got the internet, we've got magazines, we've got media, we've got, um, a constant visual stimuli of what society believes is beauty. So what I want to bring the consciousness back into beauty is to teach women, young girls, young women especially, how to appreciate and nurture your own unique version of beauty. Because we are all beautiful in a different way. Now, you, your mom's probably told you this, somebody's probably told you this, and maybe you don't believe them. So, being conscious about your beauty is knowing who you are. It's appreciating your beauty from the deeper level of self-care, self-nourishment. There's a very fine line between self-care, self-nourishment, taking care of your body, experiencing human touch, because often we really just want to experience a loving touch from someone else. So we maybe get a massage or a facial or a head massage or just somebody placing their hand on our shoulders can just instantly oh, drop our defenses because we simply wanted to experience a loving, appreciative touch from someone else. So there's a very fine line between the self-nourishment, um, which includes food, nutrition, um, massage, all the holistic therapies, and fixing or correcting what we believe is not beautiful about us, what we believe is um, not deemed as beautiful by other people. The other aspect of beauty is really your internal radiance, your personal magnetism, and creating your unique version of beauty through creating yourself. So we can look at beauty and the way that we dress ourselves, our style is that we're creating ourselves as art. So imagine you're getting up in the morning, you wanna feel a certain way, you want to enhance a certain feeling. So you choose the fabrics, you choose the colors, you have fun choosing the jewelry, the accessories that you put together and that's unique, your unique version of style. That's a part of your beauty. It's a part of expressing the essence of who you are out in the world. And it's something that you can feel good doing. Um, and that includes using makeup, organic, natural, mineral-based makeup. Um, I like to use this kind of range as much as possible. Um, and also using it as a way of enhancing your features rather than covering up or trying to hide who you are. Trying to make yourself something that you're not. So becoming aware and conscious of your own beauty is is key to taking pleasure in being who you are, is taking pleasure in the creativity of the expression of you. And so we need to turn the whole myth of beauty around so that it comes back to this healthy version of beauty, this healthy, nourishing version of beauty where we can accept the healthy attention from other people because we've learned to appreciate and accept those aspects of ourselves as well. We all look so different. There's no one on the earth unless you've got a completely identical twin and even then they don't look exactly like you that looks like you or expresses themselves in the way that you do. So beauty, beauty is everywhere. It's not just about the way that we look, it's nature, it's colour, it's 
the weather, it's the environment. Beauty moves us from within and everybody appreciates beauty in a different way. So we all believe different things to be beautiful, which is perfect because um, if there's an, this idealized version of beauty, which media does try to express to us, um, you know, we don't all think that beauty is the same. So I want to bring that awareness and that attention back to the consciousness of beauty and how you feel about yourself. If you would like to come to my workshop, please get in touch. Um, I'm going to be also doing an introduction session in a beauty spa. So it's a very relevant subject because a lot of women go there for different reasons. So it comes back to this fine line of going to take care of yourself, getting a massage, getting a facial, looking after your body and your skin and going to fix something. So what is the mentality behind the reason that you're going to the beauty spa, the reason that you are um, buying these products? I'd love to hear your opinion. I'd love to hear how you feel about your version of unique beauty, how you express your beauty, what you believe beauty to be, because we all believe it to be something, something different. So if you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and leave a comment below. I'd love to uh, hear from you. And until next time, keep creating, keep connecting, keep being conscious of your unique version of beauty and create yourself each day in the way that you want to express. How do I feel today? What am I going to choose to wear that's going to express that feeling and take pleasure in the creative aspect of creating yourself? So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.